Alright, now in this section we're going to find the memory addresses we want to play around with in the game uh, before we can write the rest. So let's, right away I'm just going to start up 10-2. Ah, it's loud. Just going to get a save uh, so I can look up. I use a program called Art Money. It is from a .ru site, a Russian site, so it is how you say a very good program. Uh, sorry for the horrible fake Russian accent. Um, you can use Cheat Engine. Anything will work for this, I think. I'm just not used to Cheat Engine. Uh, so I've just been using Art Money over the years, but let me get... Well, got to load up the save first. Take, uh, one of my earlier... These are all cheated saves. I haven't been actually playing this game. This has all been for science! For hacking. Uh, but... So, we're going to look up... Oh, my gill's too low. That's not a big enough number. So what I usually do is find something that's pretty unique, either a very large number like Gil, which doesn't work in this case, but since it's early in the game, I can use this, this organization of items. We can look up a sequence of bytes to match these quantities. So let's take art money, set it to that process, and we want to do a search um, for sequence of values. If you did exact value, this is where you do your, your Gil, looks like I've done this before. Um, but since we're stuck with this, I guess we're going to have to do sequence of values, and we've got six items, so let's do six. Type's supposed to be integer. Actually, you know what? Since I know... Oh, that's weird. Are these unchecked? Since I know that the uh, quantities are usually one bytes in, like, almost every RPG ever, uh, I'm going to click just integer. I don't know. You can leave it default. It'll find more stuff, maybe, but I'm trying to narrow it down. So hit OK. Now we have, I'll just type in these quantities. So we have 30, 5, then 1, then 1, 2, and then 2. I think it's left or right. We'll find out. We'll try it the other way otherwise. Click OK. All right, perfect. Art Money found one example. So now we know in memory where these values are. Uh, just for a test, I'll change Phoenix Downs to 99. Then, then since this is probably loaded into another part of memory while you're on the screen, you have to back out, and boom, now you can see it's 99. Uh, so we know that's the right memory. Problem is, if I save this in art money now, let's just say I called this item quantity 1, and then reloaded the game or whatnot, come back another day, it's going to move places because it's a PC game, and it allocates memory differently. Consoles, you don't have to worry about that. You find it, you're done, you're good. Uh, at least the old consoles, like, that's how GameShark works. It's always one address, it never changes. And some PC games do, they don't change, like old Diablo 1. For instance, I remember writing a trainer, my first trainer on that one, and uh, it's a PC game, but the memory never moved. But newer games, they allocate differently. So, we need to find a pointer that points to this address. And since this is the first qu quantity in the list, we're likely going to find a pointer. Um, it might not be exactly to our address though. It could be to the top of the save file or something like that, but Art Money will find plenty of examples, so we'll find something. We don't have to worry too much about it. So I'm going to tell it to search pointer to this address. Um, this Actually, I bet you this won't find anything because I don't think there's going to be a single pointer in the game code to actually point right to the item quantity. It's probably going to point to the identifier, like they'll have a block of IDs of which items you have in your inventory, and then a block of quantities, or sometimes they're mingled in with each other, so I doubt there's going to be a pointer, but I'll search just to find out. Uh, let me make sure this is set to 4. Ah, why doesn't it default to that? Dang it. And yeah, we didn't find any. So, that was, accept uh, that was expected by me. Let's just try doing the search with offset now, because this is what you'll most likely find your pointers to be, unless you're looking at the very beginning of a save file, which is what I usually use, but I'll show you anyway. I'll leave that. So we found plenty. Um, so these are all pointers that have an offset. So likely, I usually look at the lowest one, like this 4176. Oh, here's a lower one even. Uh, these are all pointers to probably something in the memory address for the, actually, you say, actually I should say your game save. Your game save will be in memory, and they typically point to that. And then all these offsets are just where your inventory is or whatnot. So I generally take the lowest one and save it. Uh, I'm just going to take this one for now. So if I click on this now, Art Money will have this always as a pointer. And this is what I need you guys to see because this will help us later. 
So the address in the module, this is the important value we want. This is what we're going to read first to find the pointer to our actual save or the stuff we want to modify. Um, and then this is very important too, this module part. We'll get to that later. That'll be in part three, so I'll ignore it for now. But here's the pointer. It's like the address value. And this is going to change every time, right? This one is not going to. This pointer is going to be here every time. That's why we need to read it. Uh, but this will be pointing to an address of where our items are plus this offset. So, And then it tells you what the outcome is, really. This plus that equals this. So that's what it shows down here. That is the current address it is looking at. Same as the one we found up here. But this one will actually change when we load art money or the game reloads, whatever. So likely, this is not what you could do. This is not the address you're probably wanting to search for in the beginning. This is probably somewhere in the middle of the save file and memory. Um, so generally what I do is I'll go open up a save. In fact, I'll go look at one here. This is a save from X2 on the PC. Uh, and at the beginning, you can see here, there's not a whole lot. There's actually some meta information and I'll just kind of explain to you like what I found already. It's really deep, like it's really easy. This is your party, zero, Yuna, one, Riku, two, Pain. And here's your three levels, 99, 99, 99 in hex. So I go usually look for that because that's at the top of the save file and look for a pointer. Um, and I've already done that. I'll, I have a table already saved. So let me just load it up. X2. So I have, I'll expand this a little bit. Urgh, come on. I have a bunch of this stored um, gill. There's, yep, see that worked. Yeah, go back. Prove it. Gotta prove it. Whoop. Too far back. So this is stuff you can change. Um, this actually updates right away. You don't have to worry about that. The big point about it, though, is I made like a just a start of save. This is where the pointer that I've, I saved is. So I just made a zero. It's actually a weird pointer. There's a, a header of this game save, um, about 274 bytes. So their pointer is actually to that. But I wanted the top of the save because I wanted it to match this. So if I went 274 bytes from here, that would be what the pointer in the game actually uses. So to look at that, I get a calculator. Let's see, 274 and decimal, hit F5 to go to hex is 112. So if I go to address 112, this is where the game has a pointer to at the start of this section of the save, because this is all header information. This is stuff that shows up like on your game save when you go to, uh, let's say if you save your game or load it, you get into this screen. This stuff is all stored up there. Your, in fact, they don't even show you your levels on here, do they? Ha! Huh, they don't, but they show you 86% game completion. Um, which save file is this? This save file actually only has 6%. This is a new game plus. Uh, let's see. I just opened save 8. So look at save 8. And yeah, there you see our 999, chapter 5, and then 56 in hex. So let's take, oh, you bugger. Let's take uh, 56 in hex, and press F6, go to decimal, it's 86. So that shows you that's part of the, the top of the save used for like this stuff. It's probably got, it's got your time in here. I think that's down here. I don't really remember. It's in there. I don't feel like checking it out, but I'm sure that's what it's used for. Important thing is the pointer in the game is a little weird. It's down here in the memory. So I didn't want to jumble everything off of that offset. I wanted to look at straight at the memory address, net, or the, the save. I wanted to match it, because generally in games, your entire save, if you look this up, is going to be in memory in one, if it's a nice coded game, it's going to be in one block of memory. If it's a poorly pro programmed game, uh, I've seen like Tales of Symphonia do it, they'll have like pieces of your uh, game save in memory in different locations, and then when you save the game, it's got to pull them all together and write it. Uh, it's kind of, I don't know, I really don't like that, but most of the time I have seen it your entire game is just straight into memory, so when it writes it out to your memory card or your hard disk, whatever, it is just a block of memory in the game code. So I wanted to find the very top of the memory, and that's what I did over here. So this is what we'll use in the second part when we try to read all this stuff. We have to take uh, note of the pointer um, to make all this stuff work. Otherwise, you could write your trainer, and it'll work once, and the next time you load the game, obviously, it wouldn't work. So. I don't know. I guess I could show you. Well, 
Nah, probably. There's plenty of other videos out there if you guys want to learn about how to find values in games and cheat engine or art money. I'm sure there's there's thousands of better videos. I'm not prepared to uh, give a tutorial on that. I learned that all by myself, so I probably might not even have the best methods for doing it. Um, one thing I will note, this one bugged the shit out of me. I'll tell you guys right now. This is the... I don't think the save has... Let me see, is a walker on the ship? I don't remember enough to know if he's here in Chapter 1 or not. There's a value of Gil that Owaka owes debt on. What is this, 10? It's like a million. He, you have to help him pay it off. So it's a pretty it's a pretty easy number. Like our, our Gil, where is it? Right here. There's a 4 byte integer. That's pretty standard. So I'm looking for this address forever, thinking, oh, damn it, he's not here. I'll have to load up a different save. I was looking for that address forever as an integer. Find out it's actually a float. And the reason that's problematic is floats are stored completely different in bytes than integers. So when I was searching, I had it. Uh, I did exact value. I knew it was 1 million. Is that too many zeros? No. And default is integer, which should be 4, 2, and 1 bytes. I don't know why it keeps turning off on me. But I kept searching this, and I'd find some, and I'd change it, and then Owaka's debt wouldn't change. So I knew I wasn't editing the right address. This silly thing, for whatever reason, they made a float. Now, floats are a larger number, sure. It doesn't make sense because a million easily fits in an integer, but the it also has the ability to do decimal places, and obviously they don't need that on gill because there is no half gill anywhere. Um, so it was really weird, and it took me a long time to find out it was just a float. I actually found it in memory. I was watching... Uh, I built another program to watch for memory changes and alert me, and I was watching one change by weird amounts every time I lowered his debt, and that's when I found the address for it and found out it was a float. I was like, oh, god damn it. So there's definitely tutorials for you guys to look out there, but hopefully you can find something in your game and find the pointer. Um, you don't have to find everything, but it'll be useful if you if you knew how to read hex and you know looked at these different types like float. And most most everything you're going to find are going to be like a one byte integer, which is really a, just a byte, or four bytes. Um, if you're looking at older games, you'll probably see two byte integers, um, but other than that, hopefully you can find something, uh, or just follow another tutorial on how to find your values in PC Engine or whatever, but all we really need to do now to start our actual trainer is just keep these addresses in mind. I'm going to keep my art money open so we can look at it, um, and then we'll write the... Uh, the actual code. So next time we'll actually get to the programming you probably came here for. So stay tuned.